what's up? M here, the Traveling Tarot. Hey there, Gemini. M here, the Traveling Tarot, with your messages from Spirit in regards to whatever's on your mind. So I've been picking up a lot of different energies lately, so I thought it would be really cool to do a reading of just Oracle messages, okay? So that way we can get some, you know, some real direct information, but what I have found is that the overarching energy is typically the same. So the messages as they are general, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. They are for Gemini placements, but if you're here watching this video, then stick around. There's a message in it for you, okay? So I'm gonna start by cleansing the space. And we'll jump right into the reading. All right, I'm going to start by pulling one angel message just so that we can kind of get a, a running start on what the read might actually involve, okay? I hope everyone is doing very, very well and gearing up for some happy time with their family and friends. Um, my reads are timeless, but we are coming up on the new year, so it's a great time to release some things, reflect on some things, and make some new, uh, set some new intentions towards your goal, okay? So we have Isaiah showing up saying, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you and guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Wow, okay, it was just what I was saying, right, Gemini, about it being a wonderful time to set some new intentions and to move in a new direction, okay? And we have Daniel showing up at the bottom of the deck. Daniel is the angel of marriage um, and he's assisting right now, however, this doesn't just have to mean marriage. I also take Daniel showing up as something you're committed to. So whatever this new thing that you're going to be bringing in there, my beautiful Gemini, make sure it's something that you love and that you want to commit to long term. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some other messages to see exactly what else spirit wants my beautiful Gemini to be aware of over the next few weeks. As we move into 2024. What information would you like me to give my beautiful Gemini or the person watching this video in regards to what they can expect, Spirit, over the next few weeks? Let me get some info. Embrace enthusiasm. Yes. Sh look. Sh Sorry, shout to the heavens with happiness, okay? Especially about your new purpose. But really just embrace excitement that you know, even if you're not sure what the change is or the opportunity is, A, get excited about the thing that you're going to commit to in this new year, okay? And put all that you got into it. Shout to the heavens about how excited you are about that it's coming into fruition. But just embrace enthusiasm in general. Be that annoying person that's like, God, they are always fucking happy. <laughs> like, okay, take a little break of it. You just like bring it to it too. You bring it to it too. No, I'm kidding. But honestly, <laughs> embrace that enthusiasm. Be excited about, be curious, be ready for what's coming your way, okay? Um, let's see what other information Spirit wants to provide about this new thing that you're coming into and how to embrace this enthusiasm, Gemini. What do you want them to know, Spirit? One, one or two. Whoop. Don't get too many cards. I'll just take one or two cards, Spirit, in regards to what my lovely Gemini needs to know for the next few weeks, Spirit. Oh, there we go. Finding sanctuary. You're opening up to your spiritual source, okay? That's how you do it. Spirit is freak is a is is the high frequency is a high vibrating frequency, so upbeat, positive, fun, festive, dancing, music, partying, sex, high 
high vibrational things is how you're opening yourself up to that spiritual source there, Gemini. And you want to be doing this as you're looking into what you're about to create or in something new that you're about to get into. Because you put that enthusiasm into what you're about to create, you are going to see, and commitment, you are going to see that thing grow fast, fast. You're at least going to see evidence of it coming into being very, very fast, okay? I'm going to get one more of these cards from a beautiful Gemini spirit in regards to what they need to know over the next couple of weeks in regards to whatever's on their mind. How can I help my lovely Gemini? Whoa. Oh, you guys, a breakthrough is at hand. I'm telling you, this is the reason why you want to just be happy. Be that annoying fucking friend who you want to just tell to sit down somewhere and shut up. <laughs> Bless everybody hard, but be that friend. Be positive. Be excited. Look at this. Look at this lady, okay? She's looking at the butterflies. Butterflies represent transformation and rebirth, okay? So this is a good time for you to give birth to new ideas that we saw with Isaiah showing up there. As you embrace this enthusiasm, you find sanctuary because you're opening to your spiritual source and you are now receiving the breakthroughs. This is beautiful there, my beautiful Gemini. I'm so excited, okay? I'm so excited for you guys because, well, it, it's a good time of year. It's pretty easy to embrace enthusiasm, you know? You want to feel good. And then we have luck and right timing showing up as soon as I pick up this deck, okay? So some type of breakthrough is at hand. Just keep believing and embrace it with enthusiasm. Make some new plans for 2024 and be excited about what's coming about because your positive expectancy feels it as well as your faith. What can I give my beautiful Gemini spirit? The divine matrix, I'm telling you. You guys are in control of this. You guys are totally in control of this, my beautiful Gemini, okay? That... <laughs> And it's the 24 card, which breaks down to a six. So now we have harmony and cooperation coming in. Relief, motion forward, okay? Shout to the heavens with happiness. <laughs> the only work for the next few weeks for you, my beautiful Gemini? Be happy. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but be happy and not fake happy. Find something to be happy about, happy about, even in a shite situation, okay? Because look, we got beginner's mind showing up. First breath. First breath, beginner's mind. This is, cre and, and it's a 21 card breaking down to a three, which is about creativity and creation. So now you are creating with this enthusiasm. You are creating, you're opening to your spiritual source, the more excited and curious and open you are and it's an expansive that you are. You are now tapping into that divine matrix. Gemini and spirit is asking you to do that. And it's asking you to create some new things from that perspective. Okay. Any pain that you might be dealing with, you might want to look into, I mean, you might want to understand that you are transmuting this pain into something else. Find something to be happy about. Okay, and it's the 22 card for building up. You're, you're, you're taking that pain and you're turning it into something beautiful that is going to come in on a more in a more solid foundation. It's going to um, build stability and security. I don't care if it's a relationship. I don't care if it's your finances and I don't care if it's your business or your job. These, these messages apply. <laughs> okay so shout to the heavens about whatever it is you are trying to now create not trying are now creating okay or if you don't know I just, i'm just happy i feel good i feel good right <laughs> i'm just happy i feel good just do that seriously be that annoying friend that you just want to tell them to shut up and sit down <laughs> and you will be opening to your spiritual source and you will be blown away by the breakthroughs that you're getting ready to download and receive. Okay, and that is how you transmute that pain because what I love, one of the things I love 
is that if you win, it all becomes a victory. So whatever that pain was is now a victory. It's a stepping stone onto your victory, on the way to your victory, okay? They're Gemini, so just understand that and accept it and open yourself up to more. Can I get one more of these messages for Gemini? Henry? Oh. Okay, there's some type of a union coming in. We see with Z, Sky Bridge, okay? 47, 11, 2. <laughs> Balance, duality. But most importantly, when it says possibility for a union, it could be a partnership of some kind, a relationship of some kind, a business partnership of some kind. Also, breaking it back down to opening to your spiritual source, this union is you and you. This union is what you need to create there with ease, okay? This is that sanctuary, that spiritual source that is going to, that, 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 is, <laughs> that is bringing you the breakthroughs and the downloads, okay? So we have rest and renewal. Some of you may need to take a little bit of time out just to know what it is you want to create from this moment forward. Now that you know now that you have the formula to how to get what you want, how are you going to do, what is it you want? That's that enthusiasm. I'm like, wait, okay, wait, now that I know I can have whatever I want, what do I want? And literally let yourself feel that. Let yourself be excited about that. Let yourself bask in that rest and renewal, but imagine it and feel it as if it were already so. Okay. See, I'm gonna pull something for the shaman. Those are the shaman dream oracle. These are the shaman healing oracle. So let's see what other info spirit wants to provide Gemini in regards to this thing they're committing to. I mean, look, you already know how to create it. Like I said, you have the formula now. Be happy about it. Be annoyingly happy about it. <laughs> and genuinely annoyingly happy about it because you're telling the universe I expect it. And that's it. You have the formula there. Desire plus faith plus expectancy equals manifestation. And that's it. <laughs> and it really is that simple. But the work is the faith part. <laughs> okay, because a lot of us know what we want already. And a lot of us know what we want. In fact, all of us know what we want. But if we don't believe we can have it, we sometimes say, well, we don't know what we want. Okay, it's only, mainly because you don't believe you can have it. You at the very least know how you want to feel, okay? Stripping illusions. Stripping illusions showing up. This is how you're doing this, okay? By opening to that spiritual source. This brings down to a nine card, okay? So there's some type of fulfillment that's going to be coming in as you strip away the illusions, embrace this new, this new, energy that's coming in here my beautiful uh, Gemini as you open to this as you embrace life or this new or your met or, or your your path period with enthusiasm you're opening to your spiritual source you're receiving the breakthroughs and yeah you're tapping into that divine matrix so there's no more illusions wouldn't be any more illusions there wouldn't be any illusions okay that's the beautiful thing about tapping into the truth is that you don't have to remember anything but the truth. <laughs> a lie I found or there are illusions. You have to tell a bunch of lies or have a bunch of other illusions to hold that up. Okay, but the truth is just the truth. It's just the one thing, which is the truth. And I found that that's the best way to create is to have faith in the truth. Okay. Some of you guys may need to release some type of anger surrounding it because we do have the bumblebee showing up, okay? Maybe you've been in some type of a situation, but you know, that is the 28 card and it's coming to, it, it's, it's coming to an end as, it, uh, as you embrace this new beginning, okay? And when, I, when this card comes up, it could very well just be more like frustration instead of anger, but it is 28, breaks down to 10, you guys are coming out of that energy if you are experiencing that frustration or anger energy. But it will go away as you open to your spiritual source. 
And the truth is, is yeah, there is just one answer. Opening up to your spiritual source, <laughs> getting into alignment. There really is only one answer, and that's why it may sound like a broken record. But sometimes you have to hear it a few times before you get it. Okay, and yeah, you, you have to open to that spiritual source. It'll cure any anger, it'll cure any illusions, and it'll help you receive the breakthroughs, Gemini, that are going to bring you into this new beginning. Okay, it's going to bring the stuff out of the divine matrix to where you can actually experience it. But you want to embrace whatever it is with enthusiasm and expectancy. One more card, please, from a beautiful Gemini. Whoa. Okay, I'll take that. That's two new cards, spirit. Just looking for one. One to two cards, please. Thank you. What can I give Gemini in regards to what else they may need to know for the next couple of weeks? Okay. So we have creativity and we have perception. Tap into your creativity and check your perception of life. Honestly, if you're angry or frustrated, then you're perceiving something differently than what your spirit is perceiving. And that perception card is the nine card, which is another fulfillment card, okay? So we can see here that stripping illusions has everything to do with your perception of what's going on. Your perception is the illusion, okay? And that is frustrating. <laughs> when you're perceiving yourself as incapable, you're perceiving yourself as a loser, you're perceiving yourself as not created. Most importantly, you're perceiving yourself as not creating your own reality. It's terribly frustrating, okay? So, um, yeah, here we got letting go showing up at the bottom of this deck here too, okay? So the Spirit just wants you to know that you want to be gentle with yourself, as you're tapping into this new energy or creating this new stuff there, my beautiful Gemini, embrace enthusiasm and open to your spiritual source so that you can receive those downloads, okay? Um, there is some type of a balanced partnership coming in to either soften things or ex help you accelerate or scale in some way or scale up even a relationship or a marriage or, or a... Or a, or a um, engagement or something like that okay um but whatever it is tap into your creativity which we have the beginner's mind and we have both of these cards we have the three showing up or two plus one is three and then we have you know this card right here is 39 <laughs> which breaks down to 12 which breaks down to three so it's a hundred percent about creativity and about going into it with the beginner's mind and releasing yourself from any past expectations or any past frustrations or past really hurts about any situation, okay? So let's see, Gemini, I'm gonna pull you a mindful message and see what spirit wants you to know going into these next few weeks. What else can I give Gemini spirit that will help them move freely into this next few weeks and confidently will? I'm going to definitely have to put my glasses on for this. <laughs> because the font is kind of crazy. Hold lightly. I take the things and people that come into my life lightly, not holding on too tight, so that when it comes time for them to go, they may go smoothly. This does not mean I love any less or not value, but I am open to the change of life, okay? Go with the flow. Let go. We saw letting go show up at the bottom of this deck here. We saw letting go show up right here at the bottom of this deck, okay? You, it's not that you don't care, but you want to move with the flow, with the ebb and flow of life. And sometimes things have to go. <laughs> sometimes they do. And we also have magic showing up at the bottom of the deck as well. There is magic and miracles all around me. 
Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life's synchronicities. Tap into your spirit and you will absolutely see those things, especially as you joyously move through life and embrace that, enthousi and, and that, that enthusiasm and become that annoying person that you want to just sit down and shut up. And I'm, just, I'm kidding about it, but I'm not really kidding about it. You want to become that person. You want to feel that excited about life. Okay? I love filling life with wonder and magic. And it's way more fun that way. 100% the truth, okay? Believe in magic. Believe in your magic. Believe who you are. I'm going to pull you guys one animal spirit card and then I'll send you off with um, some self-care cards. If it does resonate, please like, share, subscribe. I did just stream a few meditations. Um, I have Conjuring Love, um, a Conjuring Love Hypnosis, um, Strength, King of Wands, and a Magician med Meditation that I streamed, so check out the live tab. I also did just post a new um, Divine Shuffle podcast, so check that stuff out. There's also some other pretty cool stuff on my channel. And yeah, check out your other... Um, you know, your other readings, okay? Uh, like I said, my readings are time. So, yeah. Let's see what animal spirit... Oh, that came right out, didn't it, Gemini? Infinite possibilities. I'm telling you, infinite possibilities is showing up because it's time for you to plant something new. Plant some new seeds there, my lovely Gemini. And do it with enthusiasm. <laughs> Breakthroughs are at hand, okay? Do it with enthusiasm and expectancy. You are the sovereign of the seen and the unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. We have magic showing up again. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become legendary. You're already legendary there, Gemini. But go beyond Go beyond, see beyond, find out what you're going to commit to now and commit to it. Okay, I know that that can be a little bit maybe frightening, especially if you're starting something new or taking some type of a risk. But Spirit is saying, connect, I mean, commit to it. Commit to whatever it is and you're going to see and do it enthusiastically and you're going to see evidence of it. So building strength. Absolutely one of the most important things. It's the fastest way to get into alignment or to at least cure a not so great uh, mood. <laughs> Physiology. Sit up straight, put your shoulders back, your head high, and you, it's hard to not feel confident when you're sitting up straight with your back straight and your head held high. It's hard to feel sad when you're dancing around or you're exercising or running. You're literally getting endorphins moving in your body so it's changing your physiology and you literally have to really struggle to find a, a low vibration when you're in that high vibrational exercise state okay so you might want to look into you know the new year's coming up it's a great time to set some new routines and you might want to go ahead and start you know start building some strength start working out start even just walking it's very cathartic as well <clears throat> what else would you like uh, Gemini to know, Spirit? <clears throat> uh, okay, yeah, clear your energy field. Clear your energy field. You can do that with smoke. You can do that with sound. That's why I clear, I cleanse this space before every read. We are vibration. So you can even just use a regular something that's going to help shake up the energy around you. But smoke is also very good for that. Um, as well as salt, but you'll want to mostly just use something like sound. You can listen to running water, especially if, if you're doing it for yourself. We are water. We are vibration. So if you listen to running water, it's a wonderful way you can literally feel the stress leaving your body as you just sit there and just listen to that running water. So look up some stuff on YouTube. See, um, you know, use your intuition for sure to see what resonates with you and what's really gonna help you because right now we're looking for true, real things. And also pleasure. Pleasure, whether it's masturbation, whether it's sex, whether it's it's getting out and dancing, whatever whatever's gonna be pleasure for you, Gemini, tap into it more often. 
okay? And, and right now, especially over the next few weeks, pleasure and enthusiasm go hand in hand, okay? I ain't never lied. <laughs> okay? So, again, check out this, the other stuff on my channel. I'm so thankful I get to do this for you. I hope something did resonate. I am M, traveling to Row. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Take care of each other. Peace. Thank you.